Almost like it took her by surprise, too. She put so much heart and soul into this campaign, and clearly she figured out how to touch voters, how to inspire them, and how to get them to the polls, winning by just a slim 2,000 votes. But these are not big margins of turnout for the primary races, even though we've got millions of New Yorkers here who can vote. Only about 16,000 in total came out for this rate. So go ahead and let's take a look at what happened with Alexandria ocasso -Cortez. Cortez, there she is, reacting as she won last night, as she is seeing live on television. This is now, she is the Democratic primary candidate. She is going to be running for Congress come this fall for the 14th District. We're talking about the Bronx and Queens. She was up against Joe Crowley, 14 years entrenched Democratic Party boss. He was just leading everything in Washington. He was widely believed to be the one. One of the next speakers of the house that's how deeply into the machine he was in washington he was uh, very gracious though he tweeted out last night i want to congratulate ocasio 2018 i look forward to supporting her and all democrats this november the trump administration is a threat to everything we stand for here in queens and the bronx and if we don't win back the house this november we will lose the nation we love still such a stunner he didn't even show up to debate her he sent a stand and and if elected she'll be the youngest woman ever to be elected to Congress let's take it the look at the next race this was a hot one in Staten Island we're talking about Michael Grimm and Dan Donovan Grimm used to have the seat Dan did get the seat this is the 11th district of, uh, of congressional district this is the only Republican seat that we're talking about in Congress there's Grimm he was voting yesterday in Staten Island, but uh, he went down in flames to Dan Donovan, 36% to 64% of the vote. It may have been President Trump's endorsement that pushed it over the edge, giving it to Dan Donovan. And lastly, let's take a look at the 12th District. Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney going against upstart Patel Siraj. Now, check this out. He had put ads on condoms and Tinder. Talk about trying to shake things up. He was definitely trying to do that, but Carolyn Maloney has retained her right to run for Congress in the fall against a Republican. That is your wrap up on the uh, day after the primary races. Some real stunners out there, but Alexandria is going to be the name on everybody's lips this morning and going forward. A real stunner on this. She had hundreds of thousands of supporters and followers on social media to Crowley who did not have those kinds of numbers. It is very interesting to see how a millennial just is blazing her way possibly to Washington.